The of this video contains copious amounts of physical chemistry and biochemistry. I will explain the dependency that aromatic amine dehydrogenase has in quantum tunneling. If you are anyway afraid of the following, please go watch an entertaining cat video, Zombies, Humans, and Chemistry and Biology. It also has a parody of a parody. All references and assumptions can be found on this description. Support the following. Physical Chemistry and Molecular Approach, 7th Edition Biochemistry, Journal of the Royal Society, and Videopad. Well, this is it. You are about to be bitten by a zombie and are currently wondering why. How did this happen? Your dream of a zombie apocalypse is about to come true and you are its first victim. Follow me. Quantum tunneling can be described schematically, shown here. We have region 1, region 2, and region 3. We want to calculate the poly that our particle travels from region 1 to region 3. We have T, the probability that our particle would travel through region 1 to region 3 as E squared over A squared, which is equivalent to this equation here. To solve the value of T, we need to determine R, which is E over V naught. V naught is the potential energy our particle experiences, which is shown here by 2 and A squared times V naught over H bar squared. The mass of a particle is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. A is 6 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. And V naught, our potential energy, the potential energy of our well is 12 times 10 to the negative 21 joules. With these values, we determine our V naught to be 13 times 10 to the negative 21 joules. Hence, we have an R value of 0 0.615. Therefore, our calculated T value, or our probability that a particle will pass from region 1 to region 3, is 18.9%.
Well, what can you do now? I mean, let, let's let's talk some more about quantum tunneling. Definitely, because it is important. Let me ask, segue. 